Yo, yeah, what's up, people? It's your favorite boy, TZ Panchaku. Half man, half amazing, right here in the Southwest province of Cameroon. And you're watching Call It How You See TV. Don't go nowhere. I don't. It's Kelly Yufe, and you're now watching Call It How You See It. Thank you for tuning in Call It How You See it TV. It's your host, Kelly Yufe. Today we have one of our special guests right here in Cameroon. He is known all over Cameroon. Today we have... Tizi Panchak. Okay, okay. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your music career. Uh, yeah, I started music uh, way back. I've always been, I've always been a lover of music. And but I come from a home where you have to go to school. Education comes first, so I had to go to school, and I had to go to university. I went to the University of Calabar in Nigeria. And when I graduated from school, I decided to you know, follow my dreams and do what I love. So two years ago, I started, I started music professionally. And I got signed to work a level called Blue Nation, and right now we're making progress. We're making big, big things. <laughs> and coming right now, so I think it's a blessing. Tell me about Blue Nation. Is it a? It's a record label. I know that. Yeah. So speak a little bit more, more about that. Blue Nation is a record label owned by the CEO Marvin Sling. Mm -hmm. That's his nickname. His real name is Marvin Honda. He lives in America, but he's a Cameroonian dog. He lives in America, and he started the label. He's a CEO, but we got, we got. It's like a movement. It's like a team. We got so many supporters and so many people that that put in so much work to make this. To make it, to make this uh, level big, and you know, to take Cameroon music to another, another level. It's not about me. It's about it's about all other Cameroonian artists. Cause we're about doing a festival in October in America. We're bringing Cameroonian talents over to America to perform. So it's like a movement. We're trying to take make take Cameroonian music global. So yeah. You've traveled all over the U.S. What's your favorite um, place you've traveled? Mm -hmm. I did a show in Atlanta, no, in uh, Houston, I did a show in Dallas, I think there's three for now, and they were all massive, they, was, they all showed me so much support, so I can't choose one right now, I think, they were amazing, amazing shows, amazing turn up, amazing support from Cameroonians, that was like, Cameroonians, they were black Americans, they were Nigerians, a lot of them showed me so much support, so I can't, I can't just say, I can't choose one, they were all great and amazing. So is TZ Pancha your real name? Tizi Panchak is the Maroon name. Maroon name is Tambe, I'm a bangy boy. Back in the days, they called me Tizi for sure. It was like my nickname back in the days. And, uh, I wanted something different, and I, I got Panchak, which means respect. So Tizi Panchak means respect Tambe, respect Tizi, so respect my craft, respect what I do. Are you in any relationship? Are you seeing anybody? Are you dating? So we want to know. No, I'm single right now. You're single, are you sure about that for all the ladies, all your crush? I'm single, I'm a crush. You know, I'm just single, you oh. guys should, you know, try it out, I'm gonna try, I'll keep trying. There's nothing wrong in trying. <laughs> so we all keep trying, you know, whatever works. What do you look for in a woman? I like, I like confident women. I don't like women with complex. Oh, okay. You know, you have to think, I have to do this, or because this guy did that to me, I'm not gonna date, or I have to look different for you. I just like a girl with self-confidence, you know. That tells me I'm dead, so I can get it, you know. <laughs> no need to change, no need to please. You, know, you just have to be yourself. I like your style, whatever you got on here. Do you have a special designer that makes your clothes? So I got one designer in Cameroon who designs some of my clothes. His name is Lima T. Jazz, you know, he's a great producer. He's a great uh, fashion designer. Tell me about your music. Is it based on your ex life experience about you, or it's just you just write your music just on top of your head? It depends the times, you know. I write on life experiences, I tend to just write music for music. Because at times you don't have to be too serious, you know. At the end of the day you want to do in, you know, music that inspire people, mm -hmm. and you want to do music that people, you know, just want to have fun with, just turn up. So I do I do everything. Music to inspire people, music to have fun, music to listen, music to sleep in, music to listen, to get inspired, all of that. Now I do like one of your music that you had 
created called Gemin. Yeah. Can you talk about it more? Gemin means poverty in, uh, in Cameroon. You know, the youth don't have you know many opportunities mm -hmm. like other countries. So, it's just a normal. I call it some hustlers out there. Some you listen to while you hustle. It's just, it's just a wake up call for the youth. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't need to sit back and say, oh boy, I'm not going to, you know, we know the court is strong and we you also know that you can hustle, you can still make it here from nothing. You don't have to wait for the government to give you employment, you can still hustle somewhere to make a living. You know, that's just a uh, wake up call to hustle something. You already know. Apart from all the music that you have worked with, who is your favorite? I won't put in Ghana. It's so great. The name is Emoji Beats. Yeah, he takes down the world. I like the way he he delivers important I work with Slim Beat, it's also great. Other producers are great in their own way. Yes, you can never have everything. You know, so all of them are great in their own way. And I appreciate all of them for the hard work that they put it in. So being big here in Cameroon and also in the US, did you ever see yourself as being a musician? What did you start at as before? You know, I have been doing music all my life. I've been singing in church and in schools and everywhere when I started. I'm a lover. I've always been a lover of music. But I started music professionally two years ago. And when I started music here two years ago, I didn't know I'd be in this level. Because back in the day, music was nothing. You know, people thought music was something. If you smoke weed, you just don't sing, you know. So yeah, that bang I smoke, it all come again. <laughs> so so, so I, I never knew music was going to make me travel to places. Mm -hmm. Music was, was going to make me, you know, was, was going to take me to this level. I just followed my heart and followed my dream. Because I really love music. I want to be a musician. And we know extra on it. Just follow my dreams. And now I'm here. I put in so much work. And I'm happy it's been enough. I'm happy today I could leave off music. I could support my family. You know, in this country. Wow. We tell it back. Yeah. What tribe are you from? I'm Cameron Bang. tribe. Bangy boy. Okay. Back to more. <laughs> so, for all your female fans, what's your favorite Cameron dish? Uh, Achu. Yeah, I like Iro too. I like Iro too. I choose my favorite. I'm sorry. So if you know how to make Achu soup, holla at TZ Pancha. Yes, sir. Do you have any special project coming out for all your fans out there? Uh, yeah, I have a lot. I would like to have like I don't know. Let's put out an American. I have, I have shows in America, like three, and I have, I have the, uh, working on so many projects. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've been traveling to Nigeria by the end of the month. Uh, we have a concert in the stadium in Worry. I will perform with T Maya, Harry Song, uh, Mayo Kun, T Bad, lots of Nigerian artists. And I think that's going to be a, the first massive concert in Nigeria for Cameroonian artists. Mm -hmm. And I have so many collaborations coming up. I have a collaboration with Stanley Anna, I have a collaboration with Nabil. I've worked a lot, so this year is going to be massive. I have a new video coming up, a new song, Love Me. I think it's exclusive, I don't say this anywhere. The new song coming out, Love Me, very soon, and we're going to be pushing it. It's going to be massive. Trust me. Trust me when I say this. For all your fans out there who want to get in touch with you, what's the best way? Through Facebook, WhatsApp? What's the best way to keep in touch with you? Instagram? You can keep in touch with me on social media. I'm everywhere. I'm on Facebook, TZ Panchak, T-Z-Y-P-A-N-C-H-A-K. On Facebook, on Instagram, same Tizi Panchak, on Twitter, Tizi Panchak, everywhere Tizi Panchak, on Snapchat, Panchako. So you can hit me up everywhere and follow up. Follow up with the boy, El Chaco. Keep up with your boy, the Blue Nation Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have any special shout out to your manager, your fans? Do you have any special shout out? Of course, I want to say big shout out to my boss, Marvin Slim. I want to say <laughs> big shout out to my team. All of them holding me down. Big shout out to my fans, my Jack Ami. Big shout out to my friend who brought me here, JJ Miller, all the way from Korea. <laughs> Big shout out to you. You took our time to come into the you you You're a good girl. You're a strong woman. I like that. Well, can you sing a song about me? If I'm a good girl? Yeah. I'll do a record. Kelly, baby. Oh. Good girl. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> good girl. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for our next special guest. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You ain't no panchaku. <laughs> <laughs> to stay updated with Kali How You Sit, like, subscribe, or click the link below.